This video is about how to write results that we've generated in R back to the database. So, so far, we've been reading data from the database, but it can also be useful to be able to put data back into the database from R. And we can do this using the copy to function. And so let's say we wanted to store the result of our analysis from last time, this species counts data frame in R, back in the database as a permanent table. Let's first look at the uh, tables in our database, just to make sure that this table isn't there. And so we're going to list the tables in the portal DB connection. We can see that it's just the plots, species, and surveys table. To store a copy of our species counts data frame in the database, we use the copy to function. And the copy to function takes a connection as the first argument, the table that we want to copy into the database as the second argument. So that's species underscore counts. And then if we want to have that data stored permanently in the database, we need to set the optional argument temporary equal to false. Otherwise, it would just get stored temporarily. And if we do that and then rerun db list tables for portal db, we'll see that now we have our species counts table here as well. We get a couple of other little helper tables that we don't need to worry about. Uh, but our species counts table has now been stored permanently in the database so that we can come back and use it again later. So that's how we move data from data frames in R into the database itself. We use the copy to function, which takes the connection to the database as an argument, followed by the table that we want to copy to the database. And then if we want that copying to be permanent, we set temporary equals to false.